Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the Streaming Advisor. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how to get your HBO Max working on a Fire TV. Fire TV now supports HBO Max, but you want to make sure that you've got it all in place so that you can download the current version. First off, you just want to go into Settings. And if you've done something like installed HBO Max, like sideloaded or something like that, you want to make sure that it is no longer on your system. So we're going to go into this managed installation, installed applications, and just work on it from there. And so we don't have HBO Max or HBO or anything currently installed. So next, what we're going to do is you're going to manually look for HBO. Why? Because for some reason, right now, the Fire TV doesn't respond to asking for HBO Max. Even though, as you see, it shows up in the searches. So, we're going to jump in and go to HBO Max here. And what you'll see is that it pulls up these two different choices. The black and white one, and the white and black one. And it doesn't have an HBO Max logo anywhere. This is one version. This is like if you're signing up for prime channels but this here is the place you want to start if you're just trying to install hbo max and you'll see even though it doesn't say so on the outside once you jump in it says hbo max and so on so what you're going to do is download it let it do its little job there And it's just about done. The waiting is the hardest part, isn't it? Okay, so we'll open it up. You see your HBO splash screen. And from here, you can either sign up for it or sign in if you're already a customer. So when you go here, you see this screen. It's fine. And what you have to do is type in the code they provide and hit next. From there, you actually have to type in your email and password for your account if you're already a customer. We're going to skip actually showing you my <laughs> password and so on. So we're just going to edit that out and it's all done. And, you know, what you'll see on the TV screen is that it will start to react to the change. So, you know, it's telling you type that in, blah, blah, blah. And then it will pop on over and let you know that it's all set. And so it's just launched into HBO Max. And we'll hop on my profile there. So there's what HBO Max looks like. It looks just like it does on the other platforms. Up in the left-hand corner is where you jump to jump directly into settings or into the different sections. That's always good if you're specifically looking for like a TV show or something to watch. You see that it's broken down by various things. It has their little sections, you know, critically acclaimed, of course, and everything else that it offers is just kind of folded into different categories that we'll show you. I wonder what people consider spellbinding. So if we hop in here and we go to the home page, you'll see that it allows you to pick up where you left off if you've already been watching something. You can actually set things into a queue, which is nice. And then they start sort of trying to get you, you know, to use their recommendation engine. You hearing all my stupid email alerts? I should have turned them off before I made this video, but it's such a pain to have to go in and out of settings constantly when you just need to get something done. You'll notice under originals that the these are not specifically original to HBO Max. A lot of them are HBO originals. 
HBO Max is going to have its own group of original series that are exclusive to HBO Max. But it looks like HBO doesn't have enough to work with right now, so they're kind of mixing things in. This is sort of the central control of HBO Max. This is all of their brands. DC is one of their biggest ones because they own Warner Media. So this is home to a lot of content. Batman, Superman, Justice League, and anything rolling out in the future. It's going to have a heavy dose of their animated content. Their, their DC animated universe movies, things like that. But for people who are into that genre, this is a pretty nice one. It's, it's kind of DC's answer to Marvel on Disney+. Plus. You see that it's broken up into other things. Turner Classic Movies is one of the big selling points for HBO Max. And not everything in there is actually classic old. There's some new classics, though. You're going to see things by top directors and you know, influential popular movies. Die Hard, everybody's favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, I consider Die Hard a Christmas movie. So, you know, so step up, right? But this is it. This is what you get with HBO Max. It is broken down into multiple sections. And it's a nice little app. I mean, it's it's $14.99, so it's a very premium price for the official app. But the key now is that you can add it to your Fire TV without playing a bunch of games. You know, you no longer need to use the download, or you don't have to go to some sort of APK website. You can just get it from Amazon the way that you should have been able to in the first place. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe and click on the little alert tab, you know, the little bell. That way you can see what we're working on as we go. I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.